is how we do it. This is how we do it. Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. Well, you guys, today it's gonna be the debut, the number one, the one and only, you guys. You know everybody always says first in the comments section, this is first, you guys. There is not another video on YouTube for baked buffalo style sheep's head, like actual sheep's head fish, okay? I did see a baked buffalo fish, but that's actually the name of the fish is buffalo fish, but we're doing baked buffalo style sheep's head today. And you guys, let me let me just share with you, I was inspired by AP Bass, and I'll put a link in the description area below to his channel. Make sure you check him out after you watch this video, okay? But you know, a while ago, he did buffalo style fried fish, and I tried that in one of my videos. It was absolutely delicious. Mike D, Jetty Rocks Fishing, I'll put a link in the description area to his channel, you guys. He turned me on to sh buffalo shark bites. I went over there, I caught shark with him, I brought it home, and I actually made a video of like different ways to prepare shark, and buffalo shark bites was in that video. Absolutely phenomenal. But you guys, I'm around here today, I'm like, I got these sheep's head, you know, that I caught. I kept six of them several days ago, and uh, I'm thinking, what can we try different? Well, we're gonna do it, man. We're doing baked buffalo style sheep's head today. Um, number one on YouTube, you guys. And you know what? I'm not doing anything real fancy here. I looked in the refrigerator, and I had some Bayou, <laughs> Bayou buffalo sauce from Popeyes, and I actually opened one of these up, and uh, man, this stuff is red, and it is red freaking hot, all right? So here's what my plan is. I got me a bowl, you guys. I'm gonna take some of this red hot goodness here, and I'm gonna just put it in the bowl like that because it is way too freaking hot. Pour that goodness in there like that. We're gonna cut that with some butter. That's how you make wing sauce like, ha, ah, not so, pull, set your mouth on kind of fire hot, all right? So I'm gonna get some butter in here, and then I'm gonna nuke this in the microwave, get it heated up. A little butter in the sauce. Give that a little stir, get it mixed up good. Oh, steaming up my lens. All right, so I've got my oven preheated to 425. All right, guys, so the next thing I did is I just rubbed some tin foil with some butter so the uh, fish doesn't stick. I got me a paper towel. I'm just gonna pat the fish dry here on the paper towel. Get all that moisture off of it. Fish goes in the pan, right? So I'm thinking at this point, the uh, the next next thing to do is just give this guy a coating of some buffalo sauce. Just kind of rub it around there. I've got some slits in my my fish there. Just give him a little little coating. I don't think it's going to take too much to give him some flavor. Get that down in those crevices. I'm going to do both sides of the fish. Middle rack. Let's set our timer here for about 20 minutes. 19, that'll do. You guys always forget to put the catch part in. Let's put the catch part in right here. Head, the sheep's head trick. There he is. There he is. 
got him that time. We got him that time. We got him that time. Come on, Mr. Sheeps. Alright. Feisty little guy this morning. He's just a little guy, but he's nice and fat. Here we go. Can I have a drum roll, please? <laughs> I got a little ranch sauce here. I thought, uh, you know, I always like my buffalo style chicken wings and stuff dipped in either ranch or blue cheese. So I thought I'd just give a little shot here. But hey, here goes nothing, you guys. A little bit of a uh, baked buffalo sheep's head. Let's see what we got going on. Wow! First of all, that is delicious. Delicious. Bloody delicious. All right. All right. I'm liking it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. You guys, the buffalo sauce on the skin is really, really good. <laughs> and I can still taste the flavor of the fish. Dipped in the ranch dressing just a little bit. Nice really nice buffalo um, meat flavor there. I would definitely cook this again, no doubt about it. This is really, really good. Um, I, I was concerned that the buffalo sauce was gonna overpower the flavor of the sheep's head, but I can still taste the flavor of the sheep's head. It is really, really good. And really the buffalo flavoring is more on the skin and not so much on the meat. So they really complement each other. Just a little dab of that ranch dressing, Two thumbs up, you guys. Um, definitely would cook this again, no problem with that. Um, yeah, you guys saw it right here first. Baked buffalo style sheep's head. Thumbs up or appreciated. Get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun, live it. See ya!